Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we recently got some new scenarios and they look pretty interesting. We've got stuck in their shadow, new in town and parenting predicaments and it looks like each scenario has a dedicated character for it. I'm getting the impression this is more of like a storyline because you already have a sim to start with and there are multiple different endings. So I thought let's play with these new scenarios. So, the first one that we'll play with today is New in Town. Start with Farrah Nouvel, an outgoing young adult. And I'm guessing the story endings are based on what kind of relationship she forms with the people around her. So let's play this one. We're going to move into Brychester. Hang out where all the cool kids are. Okay. Well, already she's quite hungry and she has level two of the cooking skill. So why don't you go ahead? Oh, she's already making herself food. Okay, great. Oh, Lilith is calling. Howdy, neighbour. Welcome to the neighbourhood. My name is Lilith and I live just down the road. I'm sure we'll get a chance to meet in person very soon. Ah, oh, well, that's really nice of you, Lily. Thanks for the call. Where did you get my number from? Farah, a freelancing digital artist, has just moved into town. She doesn't know anyone. Help her explore her new home, meet some people and throw the best moving in party ever. Fingers crossed she'll make some lifelong friends along the way. Maybe she'll even meet the sim of her dreams. This is giving me, like, life stories, Riley vibes. Okay, so she has to introduce herself to five sims, buy a microphone or an, instru or an instrument, and buy some decor. Well, the decor's already ticked off. It's like 3 a.m., so probably we'll wait until the morning to introduce ourselves to people. God, this is a real sorry bedroom, isn't it? Look at it. Depressing. Maybe I'll lighten it up with an instrument. So if she wants to make friends, probably a guitar is going to be the way to go, isn't it? Everyone loves a guitarist. So I can select myself a gig. I'm going to hold off on getting a gig for work. Nice hairnet, because I already have quite a lot of money. Over 10,000 simoleons right there. Oh, I see some sims outside. Oh, this is going to be the welcome wagon. This is great. And there's Lilith. She was going to be my best friend. I really want this sim, Farah, to just be, like, really socially awkward, like me, and just say weird things. Right, let's go and introduce ourselves to Lily, to Lilith. I see real potential in you, Lilith. We could be best friends. We could braid each other's pubes and gossip about boys. You know, friend stuff. She seemed a bit freaked out by what I had to say there. <laughs> this is already kind of like a party. Oh, it's Angela. Hey. Do you like Cornetto? I do. My favourite's mint chop chip. Bye. Hey, you'll be throwing a housewarming party, right? Here's my number. I'll be waiting for my invite. It's pretty presumptuous of you there, Grandpa. Why would you think you would be invited to a party full of college girls, huh? He's already fucking flirting with the Pleasants. Disgusting. Okay, well, I should probably try and get to know. Well... I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but already the scenario has not recognised that I have introduced myself to four sims, not two. But if that's the only glitch I encounter with this, then I'll be fine with that. Well, apparently I haven't introduced myself to enough sims, so I'm going to run out quickly and just introduce myself to a couple of people. Oh, this is such a nice little town centre, isn't it? Oh, another sim I can introduce myself to. The sims in this save are really big on huge accessories, aren't they? This sim just has money floating around her head, but her hair colour has changed the money red, so it kind of looks like squares of blood. Oh, here's a sim over here that I could introduce myself to. Right, stop just standing there now, out of protest, because I'm not filling your needs. You'll get your needs filled when you introduce yourself to enough sims. Welcome wagons ended. Look, you've got two boys walking past right now. Just say hello to them and then you'll be done with it. Oh, Lilith's calling. This town is so much larger than your neighbourhood. You should go exploring. If you want to meet new people, the gym or the bar are great places to check out. If you want some company, let me know and I'll tag along. Oh, she's quite sweet really, isn't she, Lilith? Right, Farah, I'll let you go home and sit on the throne now. And then maybe we'll head to the gym. Okay, let's just grab a quick snack. Just grab something super quick just to give us the energy to pump some iron. All right, let's go. We'll invite Lilith as well, sure. All right, let's see if we can meet some fitties at the gym. Thomas Watson 
He's all right, isn't he? Maybe we'll just work out next to him. <gasps> Want to lift, run, punch? Awesome. My gym is the perfect place to get wicked workout and meet other gym rats. Nothing like an exercise buddy to keep you on top of your game. Oh, he's flirting with me already. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself. I'll let him, like, watch me sweat for a little bit first. Oh, great, a fucking werewolf's just ran in. That's all I need. I could do without you coming in here, Lou, on a fucking rampage. I'm going to tell him a joke about ducks. Hey, did you know that ducks have queens? <laughs> they don't really have queens, you gullible fuck. <laughs> that was a good joke, wasn't it? All right, maybe I'll leave it to the comedians. I think he gave me an energy drink. Yeah, moodlet solver. We're just having a casual conversation. Maybe we'll ask a risque question once we finish working up a sweat. Hey, Lila, fuck off. This video isn't about you. Man, there really aren't many single men in The Sims 4, are there? All right, we'll quickly just go and jump in the shower. You can come with me if you like, Thomas. Is that a bar up here? Oh, no, not really. I'm going to go talk to Thomas again. Tell him, flash the crazy eyes. So he knows what to expect if he doesn't respond to our advances. I'm going to see if I could take some pictures of him. Take a photo with. Yeah. Post this one on Simstagram. Show everyone about the new friend I made. There we go. Yeah. I'm going to tag your wife in this one, Tommy. I know you got marriage problems. Okay, make a flirtatious joke. Thomas is already flirty. All right, Tiger, at least buy me a drink first. Got to make more effort than that if you want a sniff of my sniz. She's got a cute little tattoo on her back. Should we maybe try a flirt? Would that be... Would that be coming on a bit too strong? Oh, I think he's going home anyway. I'm annoyed that we didn't get our level two in fitness. We were so close as well. Let's just go do a quick workout just to get our level two. Because we were so nearly there. Look how close we are to level two. Okay, there we go. Job done. All right, you can go home now. Yeah, this feels more like uh, life stories. Because I'm getting new goals for each new setting I'm in. I'm enjoying this. And I'm looking forward to seeing where things will go with my new man. Although one thing that's slightly annoying is you drank that energy drink... Uh, which gave you full needs, but now it's 2am and there's nothing really we can do. So, oh actually no, I've got some new goals here. I can practice my charisma, so I can get to charisma level 2. I have to have three friends, visit neighbours, oh, visit a neighbour's residence, invite a sim to your home. Hi Farah, I hear you've met a lot of people already. A great way to turn these acquaintances into friends is improving your social skills. Work on your charisma, comedy and mischief skills and you'll be the most popular sim in town before you know it. <gasps> Thanks. That's what I'm going to do tonight then. So I'm thinking for my friends, I'm going to go for my love interest, Thomas, and the Pleasant Twins. Because I can just pop round their house in the daytime tomorrow and then invite my love interest in the evening, whenever I'm done at the Pleasant House. And then I can put it on him. Buy observant reward trait. How many points do I need for that to be observant? Oh, I have enough. Okay, great. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go get a couple hours kip, and then in the morning we're gonna go to the Pleasant House, we're gonna use Angela to build our comedy skill, and we'll use Lilith to build our mischief skill. And hopefully we'll be able to become friends with them. But we have officially been through our first day of being new in town. How exciting. All right, get dressed. And we will head to the Pleasant Twins. Oh, it looks like they've adopted a toddler and a dog. Good old story progression, eh? Okay, knock on the door. Okay, so Lilith. I know she likes mischief. So I'm going to go be mischievous with her. Girls, you really need to wash your dog. Oh, she didn't seem to like that. Mischievous. Oh, dear. Maybe Lilith is a bit too sensitive. I just want to be your friend, Lilith. Let's ask her about her degree. And then she'll say about how she's studying mischief and yet can't even take a fucking joke. Villainy. Basically mischief. Oh, I think me and Lilith are friends. Okay. Now I just have to become friends with Angela. Oh, level two of the comedy skill. Oh, I gotta pay my bills. How is Angela still bored? I've been talking to her for quite a while now. 
This is getting to be a bit insulting. Okay, that's better. They're having a hilarious repartee. They must be close to being friends. Oh yeah, we're friends. Perfect, well then I'm gonna go home and invite old Tomo over. Maybe I'll cook him dinner or something. Okay, get on the phone to Thomas, invite him to hang out at our lot. He'll be right over, of course he will. Didn't take him two minutes, did it? Hey Tomo. I can't believe you just moved here, Farah. You've already made so many friends. I'd love to meet some of them. Want to do a group hangout downtown? Or is there someone you'd like to spend some alone time with? There is someone I'd like to ask out. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of flirting first. Let's try a pickup line, shall we? I think he will like that. A little bit of flirty flirt. Oh, wait, what? What are you turning me down for? I don't want to be with you anyway. I don't want to spend my life cooking you dinners and cleaning your skid marks every day anyway. Okay, let's just make some grilled cheese. Okay, call to meal so he can have a grilled cheese as well. And I guess I'll clean up these plates since you're not going to do it, you lazy bitch. Okay, we're feeling playful. Maybe. He wants to become best friends. Yes, I'll become best friends. And then also maybe a flirtatious joke, followed by maybe another flirtatious joke. I just have to get him into a flirty mood, and then we'll be golden. That didn't really work. What if I just get him into a funny mood? If I get him playful, then probably he'll enjoy my flirtatious jokes a bit more. Maybe I just need to be a bit more tactical about this. Do I have a new sentiment? Deeply connected. That's right. We got a deep connection, ain't we, babe? Okay, now he's playful. I'm kind of annoyed that I can't make a flirtatious joke anymore. So I'm just going to go and attempt a mistletoe kiss. I have a feeling that it's not going to go down well. But you know what? I'll try it anyway. Oh, yes. Oh, it worked wonders. All right, let's do another mistletoe kiss then. Okay, maybe we could try a flirt. Maybe. Oh, he's responding to the flirt now. Okay, okay. We're getting there. And then we'll go in for our first kiss. If he gives me a first kiss, he can't turn me down after that. Oh no, he turned me down. Okay, things are getting pretty... Oh, tedious conversation. Fuck's sake. Okay, I'm going to have to make him laugh again. This one's a tough nut to crack. Okay, now make a flirtatious joke. Try blowing a kiss. See how that goes. Okay, okay. Maybe we can have our first kiss? Oh, okay. First kiss, out the way. Now I can ask him on a date. You want to go on a date with me, Tommy? Okay, I'm thinking maybe we'll go to the pier. It's quite a romantic spot, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go to the Copperdale Pier. Okay, so I'm thinking let's sit here together outside the ice cream stand. Maybe we'll just talk to him at this table. I want to try and get him to be playful. Okay, I got him playful. Now maybe I can look deeply into eyes. And then maybe we'll go for a deep conversation. Oh, look at that. He thinks we're just having a nice time. But we're already planning our wedding. How many kids we're going to have. We've already waved your kids off to the orphanage. Okay, we'll have a deep conversation. And then we'll try the old flirtatious joke again. Okay, now he's flirty. I just got to get her flirty. Maybe if we go for a warm embrace. Maybe even have just a little kiss. I don't understand how this can be a very awkward encounter. Oh, right, because she's joined. Right, Molly, you are not part of this. Go away. Okay, we're both flirty. I really want to, like, woohoo in one of these rides. See if he wants to woohoo in the Tunnel of Love. Woohoo with Thomas. What's he going to say? Things are getting suggestive anyway. She's asking the question. He looks like he's going to say yes. Oh, that's right. That's right. Come on, Tomo, let's get in that Tunnel of Love. Just check my phone first, just check his Instagram. You get the condoms, I'll post a status update. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, here we go, here we go. And that's her losing her virginity right there. On the tunnel of love. I can't think of a more romantic way to do it. In the tunnel of love on a cheap fairground with a married older man. Perfect. No protection was you, oh fuck. Oh, fuck, I've got Woohoo Wellness installed, which means she's probably fucking pregnant now. All right, well, that's the end of the date. Let's go home. That went well, I think. Thomas is too deep in it now to walk away, I think. Yeah, we have got him trapped now. 
Oh, he's calling me already. People are so excited about your housewarming party, Farah. You are throwing one, right? I've hosted one or two myself. Do you want some expert party planning tips? No, I think I know what I'm doing. So I'm guessing the next step here is to prepare for the party and then obviously throw my housewarming party. All right, well, let's prepare for this party then. So I need to buy a bar, maybe. Cook a group meal, buy a stereo. Well, you know what? I'm just going to pop this stuff in my inventory. Maybe I'll keep the sofa out, actually, so people have somewhere to sit. All right, there we go. I'm not going to bother with the bar. But maybe I'll cook, like, a giant bowl of mac and cheese. There we go. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to do that because it's, like, 3 a.m. <laughs> Forgot the time. Right, go to bed and then we'll have the party tomorrow. Right, get changed and then we're going to throw a house party. Okay, we will be the host and we will invite all of our new friends. Perfect. Okay, first things first. We'll cook a party-sized mac and cheese. We'll get some music going. Okay, sweet, sweet. Could you try and look happier? All your new friends have come to celebrate with you. Okay, so let's just call everyone to meal. Lilith is rifling through my trash. She's got a new mood buff. Dress to impress from new in town scenario. Farah is sure to turn heads in this outfit. Why don't you tell some jokes, Farah? Okay, we'll play some music for an hour. We'll play facing away from everyone else. Okay, we also need to socialise with our guests. So maybe we'll try a bowl pickup line with our man. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. I think you should leave your wife for me. I think it should just be... Why are you looking so pissed off? It's a reasonable request. Leave your wife and family behind to move in with me. Oh, you know what? Let's just criticise his woohoo techniques. Tell him he was about as pleasurable as a queef in your sleep. Fucking shun me. You know what? Maybe that was a bit too much. Let's apologise. Sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Right, I do need to have Sims playing games at the same time, so I might just buy Don't Wake the Llama. I don't really have room for it anywhere. Right, let's go play. Okay, we now have Silver. Just got to try and get these Sims playful. I don't know if I'm going to have time to get gold. I might just have to settle for Silver this time around. Scenario completed. Story ending, instant friends. How can you feel so connected to someone you've just met? It's only been a few days, but Farah has already made really good friends. Uh, well, there we go. That is the new in town scenario. I really enjoyed that. There weren't too many glitches. I enjoyed the layout of having to complete one list of goals before you unlock the next list of goals. Yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about this scenario. This was good. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.